Gold Coast magistrate has infuriated police, allowing a man to walk free after being caught twice riding a motorbike at more than 200 kilometres an hour. He pleaded guilty and there was conclusive evidence, but he managed to escape any serious fines. Caught out by his own video, Dan Armstrong was already 30 kilometres over the limit when he feathered the clutch and lifted his motorcycle onto its back wheel. Within centimetres of cars and trucks on the M1, he wound the speed past 200, covering two kilometres in 40 seconds, finally putting the front wheel down as he came towards congestion. Uh, at those speeds, anything could have happened, and he realises that. In May this year, the 33-year-old builder pulled the same stunt two days in a row, each time with his cameras recording and proudly posting it on Facebook. Unaware police were also online followers. His home was raided a few days later. Officers seized his bike and cameras. They also found steroids. Armstrong's lawyer described it as two moments of stupidity. His life was in turmoil. He was almost suicidal. He, that he was riding dangerously. He now believes, though, that it was a cry for help. Sometimes you need that wake-up call to get yourself back on track and uh, for my client this certainly was a wake-up call and uh, he's very sorry to other motorists. Magistrate Bernadette Callaghan said Armstrong's behaviour was dangerous but decided against a jail term, putting him on a six-month suspended sentence, took his licence for 12 months but said there would be no penalty or punishment for the speeding offences. No fines to pay or prison sentence. The single father walked from court. Certainly he's uh, attended to rehabilitation and uh, shown for the last few months that uh, this sort of thing might happen again. He's uh, expressed his remorse. Armstrong has since sold his bike, claiming it was only getting him into trouble. Live to Darren Curtis now at Southport. Darren, will police call for an appeal? Well, Melissa, they're certainly not happy because Armstrong, although he didn't receive any sort of financial penalty in court, he will have to pay $2,000 in mandatory fines by the Transport Department. Now, the police union says the sentence is a disgrace. They say that the magistrate has not met community expectations and they intend to go to the government and ask for an urgent appeal. Melissa? All right. Thanks, Darren.